Welcome back to Galileo 102. We're going to take a look at the Arduino IDE and make our first sketch together. When you start the Arduino IDE, what you're going to see is basically a, a project from scratch. And the beauty of, the, uh, of these language and this whole, uh, this whole system is that it's extremely simple. So basically, you have two, two different functions, the setup function and the loop function. In the setup function, this function gets called only once every time you run the system, every time you run your program. So it's perfect for initializing all your variables, initializing your system, and all that good stuff. Now, in the loop, the loop function actually gets called every certain amount of time. And there are a couple of different uh, IP, uh, APIs that you can use to change uh, how often that this function gets called. Let's, uh, why don't we go off and start with a uh, blinking example, which is the hello world of the hard hardware community. So if you go to the file here on top of the menu, go to examples, hover the mouse towards basic, and you're going to go to blink. So when you can click on blink, a new IDE pops up, and you can see the two functions that we just mentioned before, the setup and the loop. So we want to just give you a sense of also a tour of what the icons um, do within the Arduino IDE. Can you just mouse over those and maybe explain them to us? Yeah, absolutely. So here we have all the code in the center. And if we go to the top, you have the little check uh, icon. This check icon, what it's going to do is it's going to check for your code, and it's going to compile it. So assume you have no, no errors, no syntax errors or anything. You're going to see uh, messages like this one, which is going to tell you the size of the, of the, of the program. And then the next icon we can choose, and you can click, is the, the little arrow. Now this, what is this going to do, Seth? Well, before you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you've linked up your board. So um, I usually go to Tools. Let's see. Um, and I check the board first and see how it says Intel Galileo there? That's great. That means that you've got the right Arduino IDE 1.5.3. And then Serial Port, we want to check that too. So right now, COM3 and COM14 are listed, but we haven't selected one. If I go back to my um, device drivers, I notice that where it says Galileo there, it says COM14. So we're going to select that to make sure that it uses the right COM port to communicate with the board. Cool. So now we've selected the COM port. And we should be able to upload the, uh, the Blink program. Cool. And that's what the little arrow is for. So if everything works as planned, what you're going to see is a transfer complete message. And that means that uh, the code is running on your system. Yeah, and there's um, this debugging LED here, this small one that says GP on your board. That's, that's blinking now, but you can also plug in an LED. There's a built-in resistor on the board, right? So you can also just plug in um, an LED here and see that blinking as well. So this is like the hello world of uh, physical computing programs. Um, we thought we might give you a sense of the syntax a little bit. Um, that you use to write programs uh, beyond just the setup function and the loop function. So if we go back to the IDE here on the top, what we did is we created a little variable that tells us which pin we are actually controlling. In the setup, we call, we use the pin mode function to actually tell the system that LED, in this case, pin number 13, is going to be set as an output. Now within the loop, what we're doing is we're literally just calling and turning the LED on and off so the first thing, the first call is digital write. We're just applying voltage to the LED, then waiting for one second in this delay function, and then we're just turning it all back off. And again, we're just waiting for another second. So just like any programming language, you have variables and functions. Um, and there are some built-in functions that you can get. You can find them under help um, and reference, I think. And yeah, so there's a, there's a built-in reference that you download with um, the Arduino environment if you're not connected to the internet. And then there's the Arduino website. And this will give you a sense of all the um, control structures. Um, it's a standard programming environment, but it's not based on Java. It's based on um, C++. So Correct. there's some subtle differences between, say, processing and the Arduino programming environment. In part three of this tutorial, we'll add a potentiometer that's linked to the light through an if-then statement.